Hello everyone and welcome to Mobility Academy. I am the flexibility guy, Coach Alia. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you an hour long routine to stretch your hips and lower body. More specifically, we'll be working on our pancake flexibility, frost split flexibility, and side split flexibility. But since we'll be working on the splits, let me show you first my brand new book, Split Sucking, which is the complete playbook to master the splits and your lower body flexibility. So if you need exercises and programs to stretch your lower body and master the splits, this book is for you. And you can check it out in the description down below. With that said, let's start. The flexibility guy, Cortalia. So, we do want to start our warm up with a 90 90 stretch. All right, so legs apart. This way, hands behind your glutes. You slowly bring your legs toward one side and to the other. That's two. That's three. Three, you do want to use your hands here. Four, that's good. Five, oh yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now you remove your hands. And we do want to do exactly the same without the hands. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's good. Six, seven, eight. Nine, and we go 10, all right, come back. Now we go first side, and we do want to internally rotate. So here, this foot, you do want to raise the foot up. So that's one, two, come back. Keep this hip down, come back. Now you, we are working on the internal rotation something really important both for flexibility and strength of course four we go again five now at six we do want to stay here ten so one two try to press against your hand three four press five six of course gently seven eight nine ten now all right we do want to internally rotate, but back. We do want to stretch the front leg. Of course, if you need, just grab a, grab a yoga block under your front hip and next to your front knee. And you stay here, 90 degree angle here. And we stay here, that's one, two, three, Four, five, and six. Now you do want to push with your front heel against your floor. P and F contraction. Gently, you hold that contraction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you stop. Inhale. Exhale, you try to get deeper. So you push this hip against the floor more. Stay in the position. That's one, two, that's good. Three, four, five, Six, all right, come back, other side. So, 90, again here, other side. At first, remember, we do want to internally rotate with the active variation. So, here, up, 
you keep facing in front of you two come back and again one two and come back keep a 90 degree angle here and here front leg back leg 90 degree angle everywhere three we go again up stay four and we go again five last one we want to hold it ten nine eight seven six five four three push against your hand two one wow again yoga block one under the front hip if you need one under, the, one under your hand here next to your front knee turn and rotate here really important that you turn this back hip in like this stay here that's one two that's good three four five six seven and now you push with your front foot against the floor one two three you press four five six seven eight nine ten you stop inhale exhale you try to get deeper and deeper means that you do want to move this hip here so it's not important that you go down with your body you do want to turn your hips more one two that's excellent three four five and six oh wow that's amazing all right we do want to come back that's excellent now we do want to roll the pelvis a little so here hangs on the heels we do want to open the back roll the pelvis come back one two i roll open come back three i roll I open come back four roll open come back five roll open six roll seven push your tummy out and eight and i want to stay here and i breathe one two three four that's excellent five six seven and eight i do want to grab my feet like this i do want to go down like this all right now the yoga block right here we do want to stretch our sides so legs apart from this position here you do want to bend one leg first like this all right you squeeze here you bring the body like this you just relax here you try to open your side gently that's one two that's excellent three four five and six now you gradually extend the leg and you try to keep the pressure on the yoga block one two three it's excellent four five six seven open your side eight nine 
10. All right, now we do want to do exactly, exactly the same on the other leg. So, bank leg at first. I do want to squeeze. I do want to lean against my leg. I apply pressure and I go one, two, as you can see, my front shoulder stays in front of my knee. Four, that's action. Five, I want to drive my fourth out. Six, and now I extend gradually until I can hold that pressure against the yoga block. If eventually I can extend everything like here, I go down and I hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we do want to move dynamically, all right? So the legs are always in the same position. We do want to start here, all right? And we do want to move down and come back up. That's one, exactly. Down, come back up, that's two. Slowly, three. You want to appreciate the movement here, the range, and you come back, four. You open your chest out and up, five. Gradually, six, wow. Seven, and now here, last rep, we want to remain here a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, wow. Now, other side, always chest on the, on the same line as this leg here. Go down, come back. That's one. That's two. Three. Four. Five. I slowly go into the stretch. I feel, I don't touch the floor. Six. Seven. And the last one, I remain here. Wow. One, now I touch the floor. Two, three, four, five. All right, come back up, nice. Now I do wanna bend my legs a little bit. I do wanna go into a bent legs pancake position. So here it's really important that you anterior tilt. So it means that you sit down, all right? And as you sit down, you don't wanna sit down on your glutes, you do wanna sit down on your hips, like here, on your hip bones, all right? Legs are slightly bent, you can like put, also the yoga blocks right over here, just to help you remain bent and relaxed. From this position here, you drive your body down like this, keeping your back straight. Most importantly, your hips in an anterior tilt, so your back extended, that's one, Two, that's good. Now you want to move from side to side a little bit as well. Three, that's good. Four, wow. Five, six, side to side. Seven, and eight. Now we do want to straighten. One leg first, the other then. We do want to place some yoga blocks under the chest if we need to, but not, it's not mandatory, you know. You can go all the way down. And we want to pull a little bit with our hands against the floor. So we do want to pull our body down. That's one. Two. 
three. Let's go. Four. Five. And six. Now, watch. We do want to do this. We kind of remain where we are. Right here. All right. And we do want to make some extensions. All right. So, from this position here, you do want to start on top like this. You do want to go down. Touch. Come back. That's one. Touch. Come back. That's two. Touch. Come back. That's three. Touch. Come back. That's four. Touch. Come back. That's five. Touch. Come back. That's six. Touch. Come back. That's seven. And now we do want to stay here. Touch, but stay active. Active. Just barely touch the yoga block with the chest. One, two, three, four. Squeeze your legs. Five, six, seven. Squeeze. Eight, nine, ten. Relax. Inhale. Exhale. Try to get a little deeper. Try to apply pressure. Whichever height you're using. Same concept. One, two, that's good, three, oh, wow, four, turn your feet out, five, and six, now we start on top, and again, so we go down, one, come back, two, come back, Three, come back. Four, come back. Five, come back. Now we do six, that's it. Six, remain here. One, two, squeeze your legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, relax, that's it. Feet up. Turn your feet out, up and back. Like, like if you wanted to push your toes behind you. One, two, of course, if you touch the block, you can either go down, you can always go down. One, uh, sorry, three, <laughs> four. I I'm slow, but not that slow. Five. Six, seven, and that eight. Wow, we do wanna woo, come back. That's our pancake warm up. That's excellent. Now we do wanna walk a little bit on the wall against the wall. So you do need couple of yoga blocks here and the mat and a wall some some wall space all right drink a little bit if you want to all right i'm gonna grab some water as well wow that's fantastic all right so now we do want to work a little bit against the wall to stretch our iliopsoas here and our hamstrings as well this is a very good um, warm up and also a developing drill for the front split, all right? So just to warm up a little bit for the side split though, as well, which is the main focus. So we do wanna start in a position where we have, like this, our back knee against the wall. So let me show you, back knee against the wall like this. All right, now we do wanna Move the front foot like this. And we do wanna raise the trunk up. Raise the trunk up like this. Now we do wanna stretch our quads a little bit. So here the main focus is bringing the hips 
and the torso against the wall. And would you want to stay here? One, two, you breathe, three, it's good, four, five, and six. All right, just a quick warm up. Now, you do want to bring your front foot a little further away from the wall. And now, as you do that, you do want to drive your hips towards the floor. So down, and as you do that, you don't want to drive your front knee out. You do want to keep the front knee in. And you do want to do this. You want to lock the position like this. Oh, that's amazing. Now you go down. Once you're here and you have the control of the position, you do raise your trunk up. Exactly. Knee, elbow on the knee. And here, and that's one, two, drive your hips down. Three, that's excellent. Four, five, and six. Now watch. You do want to push your back foot against the wall and the back knee against the floor for 10. Nine, eight, hold, seven, six, push, 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 five, four, three, two, one. Now you want to do the reverse. So you want to squeeze your glutes and you want to bring your heel towards your glute. One, two, three, gently, four, five, you may have crumbs here, seven, eight, nine, ten, stop, inhale, now watch, on the inhale, I bring my hips up, exhale, whoosh, re -go into the stretch, wow, that's amazing, isn't it, two, Three, wow. four, five, and six. Now watch, our block goes right over here, under our hips, because we do want to straighten the front leg, and we do want to go into a split. We do want to stay here, wow. All right, now we have the control of the position. One. Two. Gently. Three. Front leg straight. Four. Five. Keep your hips squared as much as possible. Six, now, as before, we do want to push our back foot against the wall and the back knee against the floor. Nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. We stop, and now we do want to do the reverse. So I squeeze my glutes. One, I bring my heel toward my Glutes, three, four, squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, stop, inhale, exhale, try to get deeper into the stretch, slowly, I'm, I'm such kind of comfortable today, don't know why. My back foot don't want to remain on the on the wall though. Mm, now it's on the wall. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. Four, breathe, five, 
and six. Now we go. All right. We do want to do exactly the same on the other on the other side though. So other side, we do want to start from the really beginning. <laughs> so that's gonna be tough. So back foot against the wall. Move my front foot in front of me. I slowly bring my hips up. And I stay here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. All right, we got it. Now, from this position here, we do want to move our hips down. Elbow on the knee. Torso up. Don't bring your torso down. Keep your chest up. Lift your chest up. And we go. One, the higher this, the better. I can also use two, like this. Support the position better, you know. Three. Four. It's good. Five. And six. Now I push my back foot against the wall, back knee against the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you push, push your hips down. Eight, keep your hips down. Nine, ten. Now I want to do the opposite. I squeeze my glutes and I bring my heel, my back heel against my glutes. Three, four, keep your hips down though. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I relax. Hips up, exhale, go down. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, all right. Now you straighten your front leg, yoga block right over here. Go down. My back foot doesn't want to stay there. Mm. Now you go. One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. Now you push your back foot against the, the, the wall and the back knee against the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you push your back heel against your glutes. You squeeze your glutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Relax a little. Inhale. And on the exhale, you try to get deeper into the stretch. Straighten here. You go down. That's excellent. You stay here. As you can see, back foot against the, foot, the wall. One. Two. Wow. Three. Relax. Leg straight. Keep your torso up. Keep your chest up. Four. You do want to lean against uh, over the back leg. 
this intensifies the stretch. Five. Come on, guys. Last one. Six. Yeah, here we go. Wow. Excellent work. Excellent job. Excellent, actually. So, we do want to walk on our um, diamond pose. And we're going to be using a couple of weights. All right. So, take the weights. Have a little water if you need, of course. So, what you do want to do here is this. You take a couple of weights. You lie down on the floor like this. All right, so one weight and, uh, over one knee, one weight over the other. But you want to lie, lie back on your, on, your, on your back, of course. So here, lie down on your back. So here, I go down like this. And from this position here, I bring my heels together like this. And I put my heels in front of my, of my hips over here. Make sure that your feet don't move away from the, don't slide away from your, away from your hips, all right? So I have the mat here just to stop that, stop the friction, you know, to create friction. Now from this position here, one weight on one knee, one weight on the other, like this, wow. Okay, absolutely okay. Now you relax, of course. You let the weights do the job, which is like pushing your he your knees toward the toward the floor. And now you remain here and you breathe. You relax. You can put your hands under your knees if you feel like the pressure is too much. But uh, use a kind of weight that you feel is helping you and not stopping you. All right, to get deeper. One. Two, that's okay. Three. Four. Five. And six, now, with my hands, I push against my knees. And I push with my knees against my hands. So I push up with my knees, and I hold that contraction, isometric contraction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I stop. And now I push down with my knees against the floor. I squeeze my glutes and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You stop. Now you want to relax your tissue here. Everything on the front, in the front part of your hips should be relaxed. So relax and try to get deeper. Relax, try to get deeper. Relax. And we go down. That's one, push with the hands. Of course, if you're here, you feel that you're okay, you can apply a little bit more pressure with your hands just to get a little further deeper into the stretch. Two, that's good. Three, that's good. Four, nice. Five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and now you push up. One, two, squeeze, three, four, five, push up, six, seven, hold, 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 nine, ten. Now you push down against the floor with your knees. One, two, three, four, 
for six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You stop, inhale, exhale. Wow. You get deeper. Arch your back if you need, like if you feel to, just arch the back. That's okay in this case. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. All right. Remove the weights. Wow. Slowly come back. The weights are amazing here. So, feels good. <laughs> so, now we do want to do the one leg frog stretch. So, you do need a couple of yoga blocks, some pillows, or some sliders. All right, so see you in a second with the pillows. All right, so I got these nice pillows here really comfortable for the splits really don't love them so one yoga block over here one pillow over here and you can do something like this so one knee here all right let me i don't know if you can save me but let me just move a little bit closer to the wall like this all right now you can save me better so, from this position here, one knee here, one foot here, the foot is pointing up, pointing up. Now, this foot stays on the same line of the knee. So, knee and foot on the same line. From here, slide out. I stop wherever I feel comfortable. I use this yoga block under, right under my hips to measure and to relax. I do want to cave. I don't want to stay really perpendicular to the floor with my torso. I want to stay more like in a 45 degrees position, right over here. This allows me to spread my legs apart, to keep my, my joints healthy, just to gain more range of motion as well. One, it's good. Two, three, four, I love it. Five, and six. Now I push, 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 push. One, two, three, four, five. Push down with that heel. Six. Seven, push down, eight, nine, ten, stop. Inhale, come up a little bit, exhale. Whoosh. Get deeper into the stretch, deeper. One, two, wow, that's excellent, three, you feel how it loosens up, like it's excellent. Four, five, let's go. And six, now again, I push, push, push. One, two, three, four. Push down with that heel, the straight leg. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, stop, inhale, exhale, get deeper, last six breaths, one, try to also lower down the block or just move it further, uh, like in the middle of your hips, closer to the middle of your hips, two, that's, that's incredibly strong, three, it's, it's going to help your your middle split a lot. Four. 
five, and six. And now you come back up. That's excellent. Wow. So intense. So intense. So, we do want to do the exact same thing on the other leg. All right. So, right knee on the. Uh, of course, I'm using my right because <laughs> previously I done the wall on my left. But uh, of course, you do want to do the opposite side. So, right knee over here. Yoga, uh, yoga block here and slider or pillow here. Uh, I do love the pillows, by the way, because I, I can say like a, a, a little more comfortable in the stretch. So here, I do want to go down, 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 down. Wow, amazing. So yoga block right over here. Now go down and stay here. And that's one. Two, okay, three. Now the tension here, I do think that you should feel more tension on your bent leg rather than your, on your straight leg. Because this leg here is heavily internally rotated while this one is externally rotated. So this creates kind of an imbalance and it's much harder, it's much harder to stay with the internal rotation rather than the external in a side split. So now you want to push one, two, that heel against the floor. You push three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You stop, inhale, exhale, you try to get deeper. Relax your hips, get deeper. And that's one, Two, wow, three, excellent, four, five, six, now you push again, one, two, three, four, legs straight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, you stop, inhale, exhale, try to get deeper. Of course, you can move the yoga block closer to the middle of your hips. One, wow. Two, three, Four, wow, five, and six. Wow, slowly, <laughs> come back to the center. Wow, this, this is actually harder than a split. Wow. All right, time to get there. Time to go for the side split, all right? So, as always here, we do wanna use a couple of yoga blocks, all right? Or a couple of pillows as well. I do love the pillows, by the way, because they are a little softer than the yoga blocks. So if, if you are, like, I, I really suggest you use the pillows right now if you are really close to the floor, all right? So let, let's try these. But of course, if you are far away from the wall, from the floor, I don't suggest doing so. So, all right. Here, we do wanna use also, of course, something under our chest, just to do the first variation. From this position here, pillows under the knees. Turn your feet up, turn your feet up. Mm -hmm. Keep your hips in line with the feet. I drive my torso down like this. Stay here. That's one, two, it's excellent. Three, wow. Four, 
five, and six. Now I push my heels down, one, two, not too much, three, four, ramp up, now you contract more, five, six, more, 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 seven, eight, nine, ten, I slowly release the contraction, and now I push up with my feet, I contract my glutes, I kind of squeeze my glutes, two, three, four, five, six, I, really hard, a half contraction, nine, ten, all right, now you inhale, now you have to improve your range, so you, maybe you bring your pillows together further down with the hips. Now you can you go down like this. Excellent. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Now you push down with your heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you push up with your up with your feet. One, two, squeeze your glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, all right. Now you wanna come up. Maybe, as you can see, I can use only one pillow under my hips. I do wanna go in my best position. I keep my torso upright though. I keep my torso upright now. I don't wanna flex my torso down. I keep my torso upright. Slightly tilt in front of me. I stay here. One, two, three. Four, all right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, all right, give it a little rest. One minute. Now prepare for the last set. You ready? <laughs> yeah, shaky, 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 shaky. So now what we want to do is just to, to make a little transition, you know, to get into the size, but then get out and, the, and then back in and we do want to make this transition six times, all right? And then on the last one, we do want to make the pose in th into the in this uh, final side split and just say that. So the exercise works like this. So we do want to start on top here. Spread the legs apart as wide as we can. Now from this position here, all right? You do want to start here, pressure with the heels, move the torso in front of you, lift the hips and move all your body in front of you like this. You move and you come down like this. Of course here I'm touching the floor with my hips, all right? I'm touching everything. And then I slowly come back and I go here, all right? Of course, the height of your hips Depends on your uh, flexibility level. All right, so we do want to do one and come back, two and come back, three and come back, four and come back, five and come back. One, six, and come back. Now we go, all right, and now we 
come back and we stay here in the final side split. All right, let's go. One. Mm. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Wow, thank you so much guys for this little endurity <laughs> side split, front split and pancake class. See you in the next one. Alright guys, so that's all for this routine for your splits and lower body. If you have any questions or any kind of doubts or if you give this routine a go, please do let me know in the comments down below and I'll be really happy to answer to your questions. Remember also that if you enjoyed the content, you can leave a thumb up and help me grow this YouTube channel. It means a lot to me, guys, all right? So with that said, that's all from the Flexibility Guy for this hour-long routine. Have a nice stretch and see you in the next video. Bye.